Hey folks, I'm Red Monster SC, and in this video, I'm going to provide my opinion on ways that CIG can perfect mining gameplay. People mine in Star Citizen because it's usually relaxing. It's a skill that feels rewarding to develop, but most of all, because it's profitable. Mining is the most complete industrial gameplay loop in Star Citizen, and I can say with confidence that CIG has succeeded in delivering the most immersive mining experience in gaming. It's not even close. However, there's one question I love to ask. Can it be better? I think so, and I'd like to dive into a few of those key areas that I think could help drive mining gameplay in Star Citizen just a little bit further towards perfection. Please keep in mind that these are my personal opinions and speculation about the future state of the game, and the name of the game is Star Citizen and not Star Miner, and there are always going to be other gameplay loops that are deserving of attention. So let us commence. Right now there's a lack of variety when it comes to mining vehicles. You have either the rock for surface mining, the prospector for solo ore mining, or the mole for multi-crew ore mining, and each one holds a monopoly on its respective niche. As someone with a less than favorable opinion of the MISC ship design aesthetics, I think this is a missed opportunity. I'd love to see a few competing vehicles within each category, each with their own unique personality. While this suggestion is probably the lowest priority on my list, I still can't resist the opportunity to beg CIG for an Argo single seat miner, or possibly an alien inspired fleet of industrial vehicles. It seems scanning mechanics change in just about every patch, but they are still underdeveloped. 3.17 introduced new ping angle tuning mechanics to help resolve signals at greater distances, but we're still sending out active pings to find signals with no way to distinguish basic details aside from the distance at which we first saw it. It's a single binary indicator to tell us that something is out there. Detailed scans seem to be in a good place, but it's the rough surveying process that I think players would benefit the most if it were improved. If I were to design the perfect radar scanning system, I'd want to get multiple signal parameters from an active ping, like cross-section, relative mass or density, metallicity, and other potential factors, then set filters on those parameters to highlight or exclude signals. This would allow me to quickly pinpoint desirable materials without having to chase my tail around the entire Stanton system, and it would also allow for an increase in radar range without overloading your HUD. To avoid this being too overpowered, Perhaps there's some variability in the radar returns that's worse in lower quality radar systems, but cleans up as players spend the credits to upgrade their radars. Certain radar capabilities could also be locked down to specific vehicles or vehicle categories to provide a distinct advantage for those mining or exploration focused vehicles. This would transition the surveying process from being a fight against the random number generator to a skill based system that's well within the technological capabilities in the verse today. Speaking of rock mass, I think it's time to branch out to larger deposits. As of 3.17, surface deposits can range from between 2500 mass and 8800 mass, while asteroids range from 4600 mass to 5100 mass. There isn't a single surface deposit in the entire Stanton system that a skilled miner couldn't break on their own in a prospector with the right mining lasers and modules, and definitely nothing that can't be tackled by a duo of prospectors. That's even more true in the asteroid belt, where any rock can be fractured with a single prospector. Where are all the large mass rocks? I would be ecstatic to find a 20,000 to 40,000 mass asteroid, or even a cluster of them, that required me to call my friends in with a few moles and spend an hour breaking down as a group. And not just because we wanted to practice group mining, but because we actually needed that many lasers to deliver the required power. These behemoths are a necessity ahead of the Orion's release into the verse, but why not throw out the challenge now? I've seen this time and time again in video games, where the developers will throw down what they see as an impossible skill challenge, and yet somehow the players still find ways to overcome. Give the players a challenge, and we can show you how exciting mining can actually get. Don't forget to hit the like button if you're enjoying this video, and subscribe to stay up to date on my latest content for Star Citizen. I think that the current pricing for mineable materials is far too imbalanced. If you look at price per unit, Quantanium is double the price of the next most valuable material, and they scale down from there at a mostly normal cadence. If your sole interest is maximizing profits, then there's no other choice but to go mine for Quantanium, and that penalizes those who want a little more variety from their gameplay. 
I appreciate that Quantanium is more of a challenge to mine, given its high instability and volatile nature, and I agree that's something you as a player should be rewarded for. However, I also see the sole focus on Quantanium driving miners to a few specific hotspots, ignoring the vast majority of the mineable universe, and setting aside their Argo moles because it's too hard to find a group of Quantanium deposits close enough to utilize its larger capacity. In my opinion, there's already a wide enough variety of mineable ores to choose from, although it would be nice to have other volatile materials with their own challenges. My suggestion here is to bridge that price gap by boosting profits of the non-volatile materials, which will drive more diversity in the mined materials, locations, and strategies used, as well as boosting the incentives for mole mining. Price changes seem like they'd be relatively easy to implement, and perhaps this will be handled by the Quanta simulation system in the future, but there are also other ways to incentivize some of the lower profit materials. And that's where the reputation system steps in. The biggest current gap in mining is the lack of a reputation system for mining professionals. We have reputation ladders for gameplay loops like bounty hunting, crime, and delivery missions, so we know that the mechanics are in-game and understand how they could work. By introducing a mining reputation system, CIG could not only provide an in-game way to train inexperienced players in the mining gameplay loop as they advance through the reputation tiers, but could also provide unique opportunities to diversify the mining frontier as you incentivize specific materials and locations through the mission system. Your mining reputation could be based on completing resource collection missions that scale up with higher tiers, starting with gemstones and rock mining activities, then scaling up to low-value ores, and eventually to the volatile materials like Quantanium. These could be specific missions, like deliver 300 SCU of quartz to Arkel 1 or they could be more open-ended, like a 20 UEC bonus per unit of raw titanium ore you sell to her L2. There could also be the ability to buy the location of a mining claim where there's a known increase in a desired material. These would function like the bounty certification missions where, assuming you have a high enough reputation, you could pay an upfront cost and the quantum travel destination would be revealed. Security monitors around the mining claim would repel anyone without a valid mission, and the reward for players would be a significantly easier time finding the materials they want to mine. Overall, a reputation pillar for mining could have several benefits if implemented properly, and I'm excited to see what CIG has in mind for the future. And there you have it, a few of my opinions on how CIG can perfect mining. Just remember that this is still a game, and most of us are still just armchair developers spitting out what we think could make Star Citizen the best damn space sim ever. I'm sure you've got opinions too, so leave them in the comment section below. You can connect with me on Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, and Discord by following the links in the description. And lastly, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, because when CIG releases those gigantic asteroids, I'll be here with my Orion to teach you how to crack them.